Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do the long exposure light trick from my Instagram post. So a couple days ago, I posted this shot on my Instagram page of a marble with some light trails in the back, which I did just by using long exposure in a dark room. And lots of you have been asking me how I did it, and some of you have been DMing me in the comments and stuff. So I thought I'd make a video on it and it just gives me something to do in quarantine because I'm, I'm pretty bored if, if you've seen my posting schedule. It's like I post every like three weeks. It's like, what, what am I doing with my life? So I thought I'd make a video today and um, let's get into it. First, to recreate this cool light painting shot, you'll need a few things. Number one, a mirror. This can be any size, big or small, and pretty much everyone has one in their home. I just had this one, so I use this as the base. Number two, torch or light. This will create the light painting swirl that you see in the picture. I also had these finger lights that light up, so I use them instead. This will help create more colour in your picture. Number three, a tripod. You don't really need a tripod but it helps stabilise your shots. Number four, a subject. I chose a big marble for this. Number five, something to stand your marble on. Number six, a lens cloth. If you're a photographer, you pretty much always have a lens cloth with you, so this shouldn't be hard to find. And finally, you might need a camera to take this photo, or your phone. Optional things you can use are a black background. This will help give your shots a nice, clean background. You can use a pillowcase or anything that's black. Now onto the setup. You want to place your mirror on a flat surface. I did this on my bed. Then I set up the black background behind it and my tripod in front, as you can see on the right. Then I put my camera on the tripod. Then you want to clean your mirror with your lens cloth. Do this quite carefully because any dust on your mirror can ruin your shot. Next, put your subject on your mirror. For me, I had to put the stand underneath the marble. Make sure it's straight and clean your subject beforehand. Then put your light to the side, ready to use. Now you're all set up. All you have to do, turn off your light, close your curtains, and you're ready to shoot. So now we've got everything set up. We've got our marble here with our torch and the lights ready to go. We've got our mirror clean, got a back drop there. We've got our camera ready. Now all we have to do is shoot. So when you do the light painting, you want to focus on the subject in frame. So here I have the ball over there. What you want to do is you want to focus on it. And then take the shot. So turn up your lights. Turn your other lights on. And also set it to self-time two seconds or around there. Just remember we focus on the ball. Then we're gonna take the shot. Two, one. And then wave the light around, around the back and a bit in front. And we should be good. That's what it looks like with the light on. That's looking nice. Here's a failed attempt where I didn't focus on the subject. Here's when you focus on the subject, you can see the subject in focus, plus all the lights are in focus as well. And it also helps if you set it to... On my camera I have the this, which is like the focusing. So you want to set it to about an average. 
and then the autofocus mode if you set it to continuous you'll get all the lights in focus if you don't want all the lights in focus then you can just set it to center and then just make sure the ball's on the center and focus on the ball so i'll do one now with slightly more blurred lights and yeah we should have some good shots so we're going to look focused i just like these i have to turn on so i'm just going to put them down here so you can't see them in two seconds and then you can twirl stuff and mostly around the back and fit in front if you want that little that cross look there's the blurred one there is with everything in focus that's really nice so as you've seen you don't need anything fancy at all to do this i've just got a mirror here at the base little thing that came with the gorilla pod that i'm actually filming this on right now and this kind of big marble it's the biggest marble i could find and then for the lights i've just got some little toy finger lights that i found in a box these were a gift so these were free mirror everyone probably has in their home marble or subject you could do this with a plant you can do this with a glass ball if you have one. I don't have one, so I just found a marble because that looked pretty cool. You can do this without absolutely anything as the subject. So, let's recap the shots we've got today. So, this was the most recent one I've done. It's all right, I'm not amazingly happy with it, but it turned out all right. That's the second best one we've got today. This is not amazing again it's one of like the worst shots but they're still really good this is probably joint second favorite third because it's a bit blurred and then the, this is my favorite one and this and this is a bad example of what you should not do so let's upload them onto the pixel editor and we'll get them edited saturated and make them look brilliant let's go Review time. So yeah, now we are going to review the photos we took today and see how good they are and which one's the best and what's the best way to do it. The first photo was this one on screen right now. So this photo was the first proper photo we took and I really like it. Like it's my favorite one and it's the first one on my post slideshow obviously because that's always my favorite one. So yeah, you can see there's a few light trails in the back and I got a few around the front, but I, I'm, I was just experimenting, I didn't really know. And I think if we move the light trail at the front a bit further down, because it's kind of blocking the view of the marble, um, that would have made it like just that much better. But yeah, I'm really happy with this one. So moving on to the next one. So the next one was the second one, similar to the first one, you probably can't tell the difference. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this as well. The only thing was the uh, marble was a bit... You can't really see through it. There's not much clarity in it. It's just like a solid purple thing that's kind of been blown out. So it's not my favourite, but it's, it's pretty close. So third, we have this one, which is actually pretty different to all the others. I decided to do try and like a zigzag pattern around the back of the marble and leave the front clear and it turned out pretty well i'm pretty happy with it it's not amazing but it was pretty good for first try and then finally we have my least favorite one this one um up here on screen now this wasn't my favorite it was actually pretty much my least favorite kind of tied with the zigzag one because it was just a bit i don't know how to describe it if you look at the others you'll, you'll be able to see it's just slightly bit desaturated that's the word so in post obviously I tried to up the brightness and the saturation but it didn't really work it was just not really amazing and again the marble is not very clear it's a bit solid colour e. it's not very see-through which is what I was actually trying to go for 
But to be honest, the marbles I used weren't amazing. They had like some patterns in them, little bubbles in them. They weren't like fully clear marbles. And if you have a lens ball at home, it'll work 10 times better with a lens ball because you can actually see through it. So that's the review of the day. And on my Instagram, I'm actually gonna create a hashtag for you guys to send in your photos. And if you tag me or just use the hashtag, I'll go through each week and select a photo. The hashtag is going to be in my bio, in my Instagram. I haven't decided on it yet, but you guys can use the hashtag and every single video I'll choose one to put on my YouTube and I'll give you a shout out on my Instagram. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit subscribe and hit the like down below. And if you're interested in the stuff I use, the gear I use, it'll be in the description below. And honestly, anyone can do this long exposure trip. You don't need expensive tools, expensive gear. It was easy. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.